Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, modern abstract intro, like this. So let's get started. As usual, first I am going to create new composition. 1920 by 1080, 30 frame per second, and I called this main comp. Then create a new solid layer, this is our background layer. Now create new composition. I called this square comp. Then select rectangle tool, and create a square like this. Move anchor center of the square and align square center of the composition, go to shape layer, then go to add, and select repeater, open repeater 1, then open transform, and change the x position 0, then go to first frame, and add a keyframe on scale, then go to around 3 second forward, and change the scale amount 200%, and increase the number of copy around 25. As you can see this gap is not equal to the side of the square. So double click on the shape, and adjust the square, so that the gap can be equal. Perfect. Then you can align the square center of the composition. Then go to around 3 second forward, and duplicate the shape layer and move the layer 3 second forward. Cool. Select both layer, and pre-compose them, and I called this, square pre-comp. Now search tint effect, and change the tint color as you like. Then apply glow effect. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag square comp into the timer line, and change layer mode normal to add. Now create new composition. This is our image placeholder one. Then drag your image into the timer line, and resize according to you. Now go to main comp, and drag image placeholder into the timer line. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now drag ink drop footage into the timeline below the square layer. And change mode normal to screen. Select ink layer, right click, go to time and select time stretch, stretch factor around 70%. This will make our ink footage layer faster. And trim the extra part of the layer. Cool. Now select square layer, and search glow effect. Then search gradient ramp effect. And select start and end color as you like. Perfect. Now create new composition. I called this elements. Now select polygon tool, and create a triangle. Fill color white. Now duplicate the shape layer. And move other side of the composition. 
and fill color none. Now select ellipse tool, and create a circle. Then again create one more circle. Open ellipse 1, then open stroke 1, and add dashes. Cool. Arrange your shape as you like. Now we need to animate the shape layers, so go to first frame, select all layers, hit R for rotation, and add a keyframes. Then go to around 8 second forward, and change rotation around 130 degrees, select any one triangle, and change the amount minus 130 degrees. Cool. Select all layers, and turn on 3D layer, go to 2 views horizontal, and move the Z position, like this. Now go to main comp, and drag the elements comp, into the timer line, and change layer mode normal to add. Then duplicate the elements layer. Convert both layer into 3D layers and also convert square and image placeholder layer, select the bottom elements layer, then go to two views horizontal, and move the Z position, and decrease the opacity 20%. Now select the square layer, and move Z position, and increase the scale. And also move the image placeholder, and increase the size. Also convert the ink layer into 3D layer, and move Z position, and increase the size. Now select both elements layers, and move Z position close to the camera, and decrease the scale size. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create new composition, this is our text one comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now we need to animate this, so open text layer, go to animate, and select tracking, go to first frame and change tracking amount 80, and add a keyframe, then go to around 2 second forward and change tracking amount 0. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag text 1 into the timer line, and convert into 3D layer, and change mode normal to add. Now create new solid layer, and search for color gradient effect. Change layer mode screen, and change the color according to you. Also increase the scale little bit perfect, and adjust the center points. And also move the layer below the square layer. Now here I have a particle footage, so drag the footage into the timer line, and change layer mode screen. Now we need to animate the composition. So create a new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create null layer. Convert null into 3D layer, and parent your camera with null layer. 
go to around 10 frame forward and add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame, and move the Z position, close to the camera. Then go to around two and half second forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to 10 frame forward, and change the X position right side of the composition. Now select camera, hit P for position, go to 5 to 6 second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to between last keyframes, and move Z position little close to the camera. Perfect, it's look good to me. As you can see this sharp line, so what we have to do, select ink footage, go to between, in and out keyframes, then select pen tool, and create mask around the ink like this. Open mask property and increase the feather. Cool. Perfect. Select both elements layers, and move Z position little bit. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create an adjustment layer. This is our blur layer. Then search fast blur effect. Then go to first frame and add a keyframe. And change blur radius around 30. Then go to around 10 frame forward. And change the blur radius 0. You can adjust the keyframe according to your choice. Cool. Now create one more adjustment layer. This is our color correction layer. Then search curves effect. And adjust your curves like this. Then search sharpen effect, to make little sharp. And increase sharpen amount around 5. Then apply unsharp mask effect, to look more natural. Select all layers and turn on motion blur. And pre-compose them. I call this scene 1. Now create scene 2, so duplicate the scene 1 layer. And move when our scene 1 animation end. Then go to project window, and duplicate the scene 1 here also. Now hold alt key and drag the scene 2 comp, over the duplicate scene 1 comp. Now open scene 2 comp layer. We also need to change the image placeholder, so go to project window, and duplicate the image placeholder 1, then hold alt key, and drag the placeholder 2 over the placeholder 1. Now open image placeholder, and change your image. Resize according to your choice. You can also change the this square shape. So go to project window and duplicate the square comp. Hold alt key and replace with square comp layer. Open square to comp. We also need to change square pre comp. So go to project window and duplicate the square pre comp. Then replace with square pre comp layer. Open square pre comp 2. We need to change this shape. So select the shape layer. Then select polygon tool. 
and create a shape like this. Now go to shape layer, and delete the rectangle one shape. Now double click on shape, and adjust center of the composition. Cool. Now delete the second shape layer. And duplicate the new shape layer. Here you can see the changes. Now we also need to change the animation of null layer, so go to first frame, and delete the first keyframe, and move the X position, left side of the composition. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Also easy ease them scene 1 keyframes. Go to main comp. Turn on the motion blur of both scene. You can also change the scene to text 1 comp layer. So go to project window and duplicate the text 1 comp, then replace text 2 comp with text 1 comp layer, and change your text. Cool. You can also rotate the ink drop footage. So go to scene 2 and rotate the ink drop footage. Cool. Our animation has done, hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.